aren't necessarily as educated or authoritative or as authoritative to um, to impact the system in a way that that um, isn't always structured um, or as structured. Um, the other approach is that Minhag is fantastic because it allows people who don't have um, like an instituted halakhic authority to impact the halakhic system and um, and it, it, it creates an opportunity for um, community members to um, to to impact the, the the halakhic system, contribute to halakha um, in a meaningful way because again it is binding. Um, and I think that both of these explanations, I don't think they're necessarily contradictory. Um, I think that they they are both a reality to the institution of minhag. Um, I think that. Minhag is both um, something that really ties individual community members to their religion, which makes it, you know, a very, very strong and important. Um, and it also is a, it's a lot more messy. It's a lot messier. It, it uh, it's not as, as structured as uh, the, you know, the flat halacha, which is why you might want to throw it out. It, it's a lot uh, harder to handle intellectually. Um, but I think that both of these aspects are important, and uh, I think that they're both things that can be reconciled. Um, and I think that's shown pretty well through the uh, the halachot regarding um, hiding the afikomen.